Hey guys, so today I wanted to welcome you into my kitchen. I wanted to quickly uh, address some of the prayer requests. I saw that there was a lot of anxiety and depression prayer requests. I completely understand, so I wanted to show you what I was doing while I was in that season of my life. And I had this little notepad and I would go and write down scripture and just read it anytime I would feel um, anxiety about to creep in to my moment, to my day. I would just open my notepad, just read and read and read. Definitely remember to continue to put your love onto God and your focus onto God. Even through those moments of feeling like he's not near and you will start to should definitely feel him near just focus on Jesus trust in the Lord the Lord is gonna get you out of a dark place trust in his timing because it's perfect so part of my day today is that I want to make some sourdough bread I'm not sure if I'll make two loaves or just like one artisan loaf and one just for slicing um, so that's what I might do I also wanted to show you guys around my kitchen so I can show you all the things that I was talking about that I want to do to this space my backsplash so I don't know if you can see it it's just this backsplash and I call this like a bathroom backsplash but the problem with it is not truly um, the color tone because I mean that could have been fine but it's just that these are going in this direction and then the same tile over here is like in a diamond shape pattern and I just I'm not understanding why and look at how big Evan got I don't even think his head shows in there it's so big so I want to tie everything together and make it one space as it is and as it should feel. <laughs> so I just changed my clothes because I couldn't hook up my mic and I really wanna have this conversation with you all. We're gonna do sourdough bread and this is my starter. This is my baby. I have shared starter with my mother and my sister from the original starter. Okay, so besides your active starter, some of the things I found that really helped me is to make sure that I have a scale. Because we bake in grams, it's easier to see the proper measurements because water and starter do not weigh the same flour does not weigh the same as water so you kind of get mixed up if you do all the same things using regular measurements and also instead of using all-purpose flour I like to go in with bread flour it's what's recommended it's going to give you a better bread I'm doubling this recipe because I want to make two things. This is also something you want to see. You want to see your sourdough floating. The reason I got into sourdough is because my daughter is allergic to gluten and this helps break down the gluten. So this part, you're gonna use your hands, so you wanna make sure your hands are nice and clean. This is a house that you can freely eat at and feel comfortable. <laughs> make it like a shaggy dough. It's not gonna be super smooth. It's gonna be just shaggy. <laughs> You'll see. I wanna let you guys know that I am loving reading all of your comments on my update video. I'll have it linked down below in the description. The response has been so heartwarming and I just really wanna thank you all for the comments that you have left on that video. Really enjoying praying for you guys. I feel like I'm actually doing something really useful with my platform and that is to be able to pray for you all. Spending more more time with God on your behalf has really helped me feel really really good that's what I'm here for all this other stuff is secondary so here is my shaggy dough and then I'm just going to cover that and leave it for one hour then after the one hour I'm gonna do the stretch and fold and then I'll be back every 20 minutes to do it over and over for like the next two hours I wanted to come here and just show you a book that I've been reading uh, it's called unraveled and I will have her Instagram linked down below this is actually one of the most beautifully written books ever by the first page I was like oh no <laughs> I'm gonna cry the whole way through this 
a reminder of how beautiful and wonderful our Lord and Savior is. And this is the Bible study journal. It's a SOAP uh, method. So basically scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And it's so good. Jesus calls us to not just be hearers of the word, but doers. I was saying like, I really want to understand God's ways and I really want to understand his nature and his heart. You'll see that you'll start to understand secrets, you know, like deep things. And yeah, so I wanted to share those books with you. If I can, I will play some of the audible version of Unraveled because her reading voice is actually so good. Okay, so it's time for our first stretch and fold. It just looks pretty shaggy still. So we're gonna moisten our hands and then stretch. You want to stretch over onto the other side, just like that. Now I'm going to cover it and then I'll be back here in another 20 minutes, but you can already see now it's starting to smooth out. Chapter three, awakened to love. When someone asks you what you do for a living, what do you think about? Maybe you try to equate your worth into mere sentences. Maybe you try to butter up your life's work thus far into something that sounds more intriguing than your day to day. But has anyone ever asked you, who are you? This question can stop anyone in their tracks and make them think. There would probably be an awkward pause as you search your mind for descriptive labels to come up with. Think about it. Who are you? Not what do you do. Rather, who are you in the essence of your being? What comes to mind? You might assume a question like this takes time and energy to answer, and you couldn't be more correct. But where to find that answer? Does it come from who you believe yourself to be, or does it come from who you want to be? Would thoughts of your accomplishments come to mind, or would you begin to think about who you believe your heart to be, despite the choices you've made? Where would the answer come from? There's this avoidance that plagues people. Imagine everyone in the world being asked that same question simultaneously. The pause on the entire world will be felt in the atmosphere. Less busyness, less drama, less hiding, less covering, less downgrading less suffering, more stillness, an awakening of sorts. But this would be the beginning. You avoid the stillness because that directly makes you come face to face with the answer. I don't know. Few have been awakened to love. Avoidance. Stillness. What comes next? Wilderness. Before diving into the necessity of the wilderness you are about to enter, ask yourself, why do I avoid it with so much fervency? 